Gracious Word presented by Church of Christ We welcome you to this Voice of Truth study series We are studying why we believe and what we believe Today our topic would be why we are Christians only When we became believers in Christ and we obeyed his teachings that made us Christians and Christians only there is no suffix there is no prefix to it we are just Christians only salvation is in the name of Christ we read it in acts chapter 4 verse 12 neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved point number 1 we are christians only because of what bible teaches when we became believers in christ he saves us and adds us to his church and therefore we belong to him and we are his name to denote his ownership we read in acts chapter 2 verse 47 and the lord added those daily such as should be saved point number 2 we are christians only because it is so mentioned in the bible the word christian appears three times in the new testament in acts chapter 11 verse 26 and the disciples were called christians first in antioch In Acts chapter 26 verse 28 then Agrippa said unto Paul almost thou persuade me to be a Christian and also we read in 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 16 yet if any man suffer as a Christian let him not be ashamed but let him glorify God on this behalf so we can see there was no suffix or prefix to it they were called just christians point number 3 we are christians only because we follow only christ when a christian we were invited by christ to follow him christ is our lord and master we are invited to follow christ and not only just to follow christ we are called to be like christ that is whatever we do it should be in the name of christ we read in colossians chapter 3 verse 17 and whatsoever ye do in word or deed do all in the name of the lord jesus giving thanks to god and the father by him point number 4 we are christians only because we are member of his family the church and he is the head of the body the church he is the beginning and the first born from among the dead so that in everything he might have the supremacy we read so in colossians chapter 1 verse 18 we welcome you to be part of his family the church no suffix no prefix we are just christians only as bible defines and as bible calls thank you for your patient listening goodbye till we meet again may god bless you my dear friends i greet you all in the matchless name of lord and savior jesus christ and welcome you all to this voice of truth tv program may the grace of god and peace of christ be with you all as we study and meditate on god's word our lesson today for meditation will be from the bible part exodus chapter 12 verse 1 to 21 in this part we can read about how the israelites practiced the passover feast our lesson today will be to meditate on the passover lamb what is the passover lamb and we can see the passover lamb was a shadow of something better to come in the new testament and evidently it is lord jesus christ so this is our meditation part three things we are going to meditate today the first thing would be the passover lamb was to be without blemish it should be clean it should be pure it should be without blemish let us read exodus chapter 12 verse 5 it says like this your lamb shall be without blemish a male of the first year you may take it from the sheep or from the goats the first thing 
we are going to see from this Exodus chapter 12 is about the Passover lamb is that Passover lamb should be without blemish. It should be pure. It should, it should not be having broken legs. It should not have any kind of uh, disease in, in its body. It should be without blemish. Here we can read in 1st Peter chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 like this. Knowing that you are not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Just note that the verse tells like this as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is the Passover lamb mentioned in Exodus. He was the real Passover lamb of the New Testament. The second thing we are going to see from this Exodus chapter 12 verse 1 to 21 is about the lamb has to be killed. The first thing what we saw is the lamb was to be without blemish. It should not have any spot. It should be uh, pure and clean and it should not have any wounds on the body like that we have seen. The second thing, the lamb, the pure lamb has to be killed. This we can read from Exodus chapter 12 verse 6 and also from verse 21. Now you shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month. Then the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it at twilight. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said to them, Pick out and take lambs for yourself according to your families and kill the Passover lamb. The Israelites were instructed by God through Moses to take a, a spotless without blemish lamb and kill as per the numbers they had in their families. They have to take the lamb. The size of the lamb should be like that and they can kill the Passover lamb. This we can read, the real thing we can read from the uh, 1st Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 in New Testament. It says like this, Therefore, purge out the old leaven, that you may be a new lump, since you truly are unleavened. For indeed Christ our Passover was sacrificed for us. For indeed Christ our Passover was sacrificed for us. As the Passover lamb was killed by the Israelites according to their family members, here in the New Testament, for all the people of the world, Christ for our Passover was sacrificed for us. Kindly also turn your pages in the Bible to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 28 as it says like this, By faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he who destroyed the firstborn should touch them. My dear brothers and sisters, the third thing that we are going to learn from this Exodus chapter 12, the third truth that we are going to learn here is, salvation only came when the blood was applied. Let's read Exodus chapter 12 verse 7 and 13. And they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and on the lintel of the houses where they eat it. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are and when I see the blood I will pass over you and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. My dear friends have you noticed this verse when the blood of the lamb Passover lamb was applied on the doorpost the plague shall not be on the Israelites to destroy them. This is the salvation they had. Their whole family was saved by the blood of the Passover lamb when it was applied on the doorpost. This truth we can see in New Testament from Romans chapter 5 verse 8 to 11. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
through whom we have now received the reconciliation we can notice from this verse nayan here having now been justified by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath through him yes my beloved people as the israelites were saved from the plagues when they applied the blood of the passover lamb on their door post similarly the new testament truth is we are saved from our sins the ugly sins when we met the lord jesus christ blood in baptism we are saved from our sins let's also read revelation chapter 1 verse 5 and from jesus christ the faithful witness the first born from the dead and the ruler over the kings of the earth to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood we can notice to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood in today's lesson we have seen three truths from exodus chapter 12 that is the first one christ is truly our passover lamb the second one christ as our passover lamb has offered himself for us on the cross the third one is we have to apply the blood of the lamb that is our lord jesus christ through baptism to get the remission of sins i like to uh, tell some important things before we conclude this lesson that the blood of our lord jesus christ is applied on us through baptism let's see some verses which tells about the importance of baptism that is the remission of our sins through the blood of jesus christ acts 238 it says like this when peter says you be baptized in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ for the remission of our sins so when the people the jews ask the question how we can be saved peter's answer is like this and also we can read from galatians chapter 3 verse 27 when we are baptized into christ we put on christ romans chapter 6 verse 3 and 4 clearly says we are baptized into the death of jesus christ as we go into the water of baptism it is clearly a resemblance of the death burial and resurrection of jesus christ in this way we come in contact with the blood of jesus christ and we are saved from our sins i urge and plea you to consider this important thing in your life that is the remission of your sins through the blood of jesus christ in baptism may the grace of god and peace of christ be with you as you meditate on his word let us pray our heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful time to meditate your word we thank you for the lesson you have given us today about our lord jesus christ through him we have been saved through his blood help us to meditate on this and help us to obey your word through baptism in our lord jesus christ name we pray amen It is God's will that you must be saved. First listen to the Bible truth. And you must believe the truth. Then you must repent from your sinful life. Then you must confess by words that the Lord Jesus Christ as the son of God. You must be baptized for the remission of your sins. Every day our Lord added those who were being saved into his church. Be blessed by studying the word of God. To receive the Voice of Truth International magazine and to study the Bible systematically through our English Bible correspondent course, kindly write to us. Our address Gracious Word PO Box 15, Arsradi Madurai 625016 Tamil Nadu. For more details dial 9244204420. Nine two four four two one four four two one. God bless you. The Church of Christ salutes you. Joy Creative Production for video coverage and editing, audio recording and editing, promo for advertisement, graphic design. Contact nine zero four two four nine four nine nine six.